You guys feeling a little more awake now? <laughs> How's the corner over there, Jake? Not good. Not good at all. And you took it from him! <laughs> here, it's coming from over here. What's this? That's a cool one. Look, look all up in the fender liner. Yeah. Holy crap. Guys, real quick before this video gets started, I wanted to offer potentially one of you a job. I'm looking for freelance graphic designers. We have a really great team of very talented people that help to design for enthusiasts, but we're actually looking to expand our team. It's a very exciting time. As Jake and I are chilling here in the office, we're actually looking for very specific people. I don't think there's any surprise that we want said graphic designing individual to be an automotive enthusiast, and we want you to have a specific set of skills. So. What we're gonna do is link down in the description below a survey and we'd like you to fill that out. We're gonna review that. And if you meet the criteria that we have put in place, there's a few other things, then we'll actually be reaching out to you to hopefully bring you on to do some freelance work. Super exciting time. Check out that survey below if you feel as if you have what it takes and you might be hearing from us. All right, guys, that being said, in today's video, we're actually going to be taking 8-Ball out for its first drive. We've got Firepunk's tunes flashed into that truck. Well, it's sitting over at the shop right now. It's an absolutely beautiful day outside. I'm thinking that we need to hear something. It's Bully Boys. Come on, dudes. Where is he? There he is. What we got? <laughs> I'm trying my best. Dang, dude. Oh. All right, we needed these for the 2020. Finally, they have arrived. Wow, he really put those suckers in there good. Yes. The copper wheels can finally go on the truck. You stay, dude. We'll see you later. Oh my God, what a day it is today, boys. It is beautiful outside. I feel like I'm in Florida, but I'm in Pennsylvania. Dang, I kind of just realized it is gonna get cold again one day, but we're not thinking that way today. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been really missing out on kind of the true diesel content, as I'm gonna call it. And unfortunately, in the modern world that we live in, there are some people that really don't want us to play around with diesel trucks. But fortunately, there are such thing as older diesel trucks that don't have the things on them that the new diesel trucks do. And that's why I hold on to 8-Ball or an old truck in general. And that's how we experience what is really what we all love, which is a diesel that actually makes noise and doesn't just purify the air. So yeah. It brings me back to my roots, let's just put it that way, and kind of brings us all back to why I think we all love diesels. Guys, Jake and I are sharing a moment of silence. Who knows what activities might ensue later in this video once we get 8-Ball. We're just really trying to share our sympathies with this stock 48RE. You such a good life, man. 156,000 miles. It made it through on its stock parts. What are you, what are you staring at, dude? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Let's have a moment! <laughs> God! Uh, I don't know what to expect. I don't think the trans does either. <laughs> exactly. I don't think the trans knows anything about what it's about to have to deal with here. And I'm not about to just not floor it. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> let's be honest right now, dude. Like, I have had 8-Ball. We had it built in March. And then backtracking coronavirus decided to step on in and intervene on everything and ruin everybody's big horsepower objectives. And it's like, all right, well, 8-Ball is just going to chill at the shop. And it's been nothing better than just a door guardian, <laughs> door guardian over the last almost three months now. And finally, it's got some tunes in it mind you that I, I don't even know how it you know runs or anything like that like we haven't had the chance to drive it at all and uh now now i'm supposed to just get in it and be patient no <laughs> <laughs> there's two routes that we can go in this fork in the road the mature hey we're gonna get the trans built route or just the eh, it's gonna be getting built anyway route you, you, you gotta winch on so your i mean i don't know we're, we're this, this, this should be interesting i love that view close close we good damn i love that denali after you lady oh, thank Ladies first now, Jakey. I forgot that was right there. I can't reveal that surprise yet on the vlog. Oh. We almost just got so close, dude. Oh, you guys thought. Oh, no. They said getting a stack would be kind of cool. Actually, nobody said that at all. There was a few of you, but it's really not easy to keep the truck clean with the stack on it. it it's just not. It was just clean. That was one start. Let's also pay a tribute and give a moment of silence to these brand new 420Vs. After today, they're not gonna have as much life left in them as they do right now. So let's pay tribute. Just give me a minute, all right? Okay, dude, I'm sorry. All right, guys, so 
here we are thanks to these dudes right here and firepunk we've got our mpvi2 from hp tuners this little doohickey right here plugs right into the obd2 port on uh 03 to 05 ram cummins hp tuners you can't do efi live on these older things but we got the mpvi2 from firepunk they sent that out to us and they basically just shot over some kind of bass tune from what i understand this thing will only make about 650 horsepower or about 300 horsepower more than what the 48 re was built to handle so yeah we're gonna have to kind of try and baby it we're gonna go out we're gonna we're gonna just see how it feels hopefully tunes cleaned up a little bit because when it was on the stock tune it was just dumping crap loads of fuel with the 250 overs and 12 mil pump and it was all dirty and everything like that but i would expect that they're a little bit cleaner now we're gonna take it out we're gonna cruise i'm gonna give you guys my first impressions hopefully we can get these turbos to swell up a little bit because we've never taken this truck past oh geez i don't know 1200 rpms sir would you like to capture the uh cold start of the compound turbskis stay hydrated my friends oh here we can get a little sound clip okay okay with you guys it's your big day boys it's your big day hopefully we can spool you up a little bit more i know you've been patient it's been killing me to just stare at you too but you look really good believe me you look, you look really good you guys are great matchers jake what what was what is that what's that what's that right there what what's what's going on here i don't know what you're talking about it must just it came like that from the factory this guy over here gets in a cummins feels <laughs> entitled puts the mirror up thinks that i won't notice Ooh, that's all right nice. joke's over put that mirror down <laughs> i can't be seen in public like this <laughs> crap guys oh my god i do this all the time I gotta go back to the shop real quick i left my other battery there and you guys are on six percent right now how am i supposed to leave you out of this it's gonna be a great day a little bit more awake now? You're good? All right, let's go. Maybe all uh, charged up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to drive. We're going through town. Calm down, Jake. Come on, you gotta enable me like that. I don't dude. know, man. Oh my god. Woo! Alright, eight ball, I see you, girl. We gotta find ourselves a quick route to Mexico. <laughs> it was like boost loading, boost loading, loading boost, loading boost still, loading boost still. And then I let off the throttle because I kinda got a little scared. <laughs> I might need new shorts. <laughs> The sounds, oh my goodness, the sounds. Even just driving it casually down the road right now, the sound out of the second gen manifold is just fantastic. There's night and day difference comparing third gen manifold to second gen steed speed. It's blissful, it's straight up blissful. All right guys, we're gonna give her a little wide open pull here. We're doing some data logs as well so we can get these back to Firepunk. Hopefully the trans can hold. I'm gonna roll into it just so it doesn't blow it out. Dodge front end, man. This thing is all over the place. <laughs> it feels like it's starting to take off. My goodness, that's a little hair raising. All right, guys, we're going for data log pole numero dos. Super conservative tuning right now is what they sent over and they just wanted us to get them some logs because they were trying to be ultra conservative with the fueling tables because they were remote tuning it. Yeah. They didn't want to make it like, you know, not have enough fuel, fuel starve, whatever the case might be. Yeah. Wow, dude, talk about an adrenaline rush, my goodness. Power brake action, just gotta wait for the right moment here in Mexico. Busy road here in Mexico. Yeah, I know, what the hell, dude? Oh, that 48 is 
screaming for mercy, dude. It's begging to stop, but I'm not gonna. Sorry. It's still up there if you guys are curious, and I'm not smelling anything weird yet. Can you guys smell anything over there? I'm not smelling anything. And you know what that means, guys? We're still in business. We've got a squeaky trailer in front of us, and we're also encountering some mildly bizarre behavior from the trans. It's trying to lock when we're doing like no miles an hour, and it's not wanting to get out of its locked position. Uh, boys, are we starting to show signs of a problem? It's not downshifting either. Let's see if it does it again. Yep, it's just locking right down immediately. It never used to do that. Interesting. What is that, um, reason? That ain't me. <laughs> nah, that wasn't me. This is. Oh no. Just to try it out a wee bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Give her a little go around, let the horses out for a little run. <laughs> let them clack their hooves if you know what I'm saying. It's like a burnout graveyard out in these parts. <laughs> to drive like one hard time and it just say mm. I'm done with you we're good though everything's fine close the windows for you guys real quick sorry about that it's like super hot in PA today it's like over 88 degrees trying to maintain our cool in here literally but here you guys can hear it out a little bit a little bit better now sounds from the heavens I'm telling you what doesn't get much better than that no man that is fantastic I've missed that sound and as much as I hate on the stack dirtying the truck 100% of the time it does sound absolutely fantastic you just can't beat it and the drone isn't even really that bad surprising no not at all I'm kind of shocked about that how is it on the passenger side any better sounds good yeah I mean I didn't know oh 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 you up I see what you're doing <laughs> Get up here and get you guys some sound clips from the outside. I know that's what y'all been waiting for. How's the corner over there, Jake? Not good. Not good at all. Sounds like angels singing. Wow. Did y'all just see that? Oh my God. How's that perspective out there, brother? Uh, nothing short of marvelous. That's <laughs> one way to get her done. <laughs> That's how you might call the, I don't know what to call that, honestly. That's the, the, just the. the. Come on, I gotta think of something cool to call that. I can't think of anything right now. The power slide. Power slide. That was actually super lame. Yeah. I had an opportunity and I dropped it. Jake, I love how you're just smiling holding the camera like this. <laughs> how could you not smile in this thing, dude? It's a slow build, but I'm honestly happy that it is kind of a slow build process just because we can embrace it that much more because we're trying to kind of have fun but within means so that way we don't drop and grenade our transmission right out here in the middle of mexico because you know we, we got to get home but then once that trans gets built levon they throw their tuning in it and of course they get this thing on the rollers and they actually get it fine-tuned for its true efficiencies and optimum power dudes it's going to be an entirely new animal i mean I think estimates are right now, it's like maybe around like 600 horsepower. All day, this thing will be an 850 horsepower street monster and will easily make 1100 horsepower on the dyno. It's like kind of crazy to just try to wrap my mind around what double the horsepower of this thing already is right now would feel like. Dude, now we're back to that time of the year where it's like so beautiful outside, but you have to close the windows so air doesn't come in, but you're like dying on the inside of the truck. But we're all doing it for you guys. Look at that over there. Oh, that's not good news. Guys, we'll see y'all back at the shop. Hopefully we beat the rain. Making it by a freaking minute. It is gonna be rowdy out there.
We'll let this thing run for a minute, guys. Just to let them turbskis cool down. They're suffering, brother. I'm just super happy with honestly how everything went today. You know, we got those data logs over to Levon and the guys. Pop this hood real quick. I'm super surprised, guys. I was expecting the trans to do a lot more weird shit than it did, but for as stock as the trans is and as big as the air and fuel are, man, I'm proud of this thing right now. I gotta say though, seeing this view in the rear view is probably sick. Yeah, I know, I see that. Oh, that guy's still alive. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, we'll let him live. Oh, he's half crushed. You killed him. No, you killed him. He had a life. He had a and kid. you took it from him. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Bug. Dang, imagine that view, guys, in the rear view. I think it would look so sick. That's all that people are gonna see. Wait, dude, wouldn't that mean I was losing? <laughs> it's all right, let's give him a break. Let's give him a break. He tried, he tried. I know what you were saying, though, dude. I see you. Hopefully, I can win some stuff. I hope. I'll be upset after all this. Like, yeah, we make a lot of power, but we don't win anything. Everything's looking good. Letting these turbos cool down just a little bit. Heat wrap's still making a nice burning smell. Same with the turbo blankets, but they're so new. This setup's probably only got, geez. Dude, honestly, I was thinking that, but we haven't even driven it much. It's like from here to Lime Ridge and back. It's probably got 150 miles on it. That's it. There's something on the wheel. Where? Right there. Yeah, but where'd you pull it off? Look. Concedal. Brake would be the only thing that that would be. I mean, it looks like, and it feels like brake fluid. That's brake fluid. It's fresh, dude. Real fresh. There's no doubt that's brake fluid. Look, look all up in the fender liner. Yeah. Holy crap. Was it getting tough to break there? Dude, here, it's coming from over here. What's this? That's cool one. Yeah, you blew something. Power steering fluid. It overflowed or something. The steering felt fine. The brakes felt fine. It's got to be power steering. I wonder if did they just put too much in it. it made a mess. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, whatever it was, it was under a lot of pressure when it blew. I mean, it went everywhere. Uh, that top line? Yeah. It's got to be that fitting. It looks like the fitting blew off. All right. We'll definitely have to investigate that a little bit further, but I expect this as we literally go through the growing pains of this build. Because let's be honest, it was kind of like somebody's farm slash hobby truck before we took it in our possession and did some major plastic surgery. And good news, boys. We beat the rain back. That's a very good thing. So at this point, guys, we have uh, one known issue that we need to address. That's not going to get addressed until we can throw it up on the lift because we have a lift now and it's very nice to work on the lift first rolling around on the ground so we can identify the problem. I'm out, dude. Yep. I'm out. <laughs> but another thing that we know that we need to do is front end components. We need to upgrade tie rod ends, we need to upgrade the track bar, we need to upgrade pitman idle arm scenario. We gotta get things beefed up in that front end area because man, when we're going, it's floating and it's sketchy. So drop some comments below. What do you guys recommend we do up in this frontal area to get this thing ready to do some boosted launches with said drag radials in the back hanging out waiting ever so patiently. Now, guys, in the last few videos, I had told y'all that we were gonna talk a little bit about what's going on with the shocks here in the back, but I didn't get to it at all. So I apologize. Hope you guys aren't holding that against me. We got some Fox shock for the back of the truck, but here's the deal. They're beauties, but they're a different color. Man, nothing's worth them. That favorite. box is what the just hell? What the hell? You up. I'm just trying to be all like cool, calm, collective, fold it open, show you guys. <laughs> nope, not today. Not for YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. So we got the Fox rear shocks, but I'll show you guys something here real quick. I welcome you to the front of the truck. Don't show them the secret over there, Jake. We can't let them see it. You guys can see we got silver reservoirs on these. We got black reservoirs on those. You showing them? No. You showing them? You showing them? You showing them? You showing them? Come back here, I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> so what happened was kind of ironically is we actually ordered these shocks. We ordered the part numbers that were supposed to get us silver reservoirs, the black ones came in. And over the last week, we've actually been trying to reach out to Fox to get a set of black reservoir shocks for the rear. Come to find out, it seems like they made some sort of an issue. They actually released the black shocks that we have in the front of this thing as the same part number, which is labeled as silver. Then there was like an inventory mix up issue tried to source the black ones for the back but they're like nowhere to be found right now because we're again theorizing that maybe they did the same part number for these but good news is is we have some front shocks on the way that have these same reservoirs so we're actually going to get these installed in the rear end real quick these rancho cucamongas they ain't gonna do but that right there that's it. nice real nice join me jake <laughs> we're off to see the wizard no i have no idea What a beautiful thing.
good. That's nice. That's <laughs> too high. I hate being short. Dude. Ew. No bolt on the top, it's already up there. Man, that's way better. Hell yeah. You might to take that one out, it'll drop the pressure at this bottom one. Yeah. I don't screw right out with your hand. Oh. You get it? Oh, some mild lightheadedness. Oh, man. And dudes, in other news, we got the spike lug nuts. Well needed touch here for lay minty coppers. Oh yeah. Dude, they look copper, straight up. Like they reflect off of the super polished copper and almost look copper themselves. That is freaking sick now that's a view that i could absolutely get used to and finally at least the back end of the truck suspension wise is coming together lugs are all on we don't have to take these wheels off any longer but we do actually have to keep taking the front wheels off in order to safely and securely let eight ball sleep inside at night you know we don't really want to kick them out but yes those fox shocks will be coming off going back to fox and we will be unfortunately replacing them with the ones in the back but you know what, I'm actually kind of happy about that because although these are sick and they are basically brand new, you can't really see the reservoir. You can see the stainless line that's coming off of it all nice and braided and everything like that. But I do like to see the reservoir from the outside. Not only does it look good, but also improves that ride very nicely. What you doing down there, dude? You see anything good? Yeah, not good? Does not look good. See I don't it. know if the power steering or trans. Oh, you're talking about all that fluid that's all over the casing? Yeah. Yeah, it's been there for a while. I may have a heavy foot. It's crying. That's a happy drip. <laughs> Literally crying. <laughs> it's tears of tranny fluid, my goodness. Yeah, it's safe to say the trans is on its way out. Dude, nice merch, man. Thanks, man. I'm digging it. It'd be a good day to put it to use, too. Yeah, it is a little wet out there. So Jake, you think everybody's gonna like the announcement that's coming up soon, dude? Oh, about that thing that we've been talking about? About that thing that's like right, right here in front right of us? there. Like that, that, that object? Man, it is a nice object. It's a pretty sick object, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be excited if I was you guys. Yo, guys, seriously though, on a real note, we got a massive announcement coming up right here in the second week of June. We're gonna be launching our first Jeep giveaway with Doors Off Supply Company. I can't wait to reveal what vehicle it's gonna be. A lot of you guys that follow this channel might be able to put two and two together, and you're probably gonna be pretty right, but just imagine yourself behind the wheel of it. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, believe me, it's gonna be something you're not gonna wanna miss. It's a good way to put it very good way to put it plus guys when that announcement comes out we will be debuting our brand new channel intro which i'm so excited to show you guys we went through multiple iterations of it and finally i think we got it right you think i like it i think we're the first like one was like hard to top i don't know i think we have a beat i think you guys are gonna like what's in store so that's where we're gonna end this video guys we can't really go much further i'm glad we didn't destroy the transmission today dude <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of destroyed a little bit, but at least we got able, we were able to get home, which is a very good sign. As we're going out to Firepunk here, hopefully by the end of July, we're going to make some big power on the dyno. We're going to get the trans built, and then hopefully, like I said earlier in the video, we're going to get these drag radials mounted up to this thing. We're going to get it to run the quarter mile. I'm hoping that it's going to be somewhere around like the mid-10s, and then hopefully we can kind of just cut down from there. But I am seriously itching to get back to the track. This COVID thing kind of sucks. I'm over it. You guys in a grant. Anyway, that's where we're going to end this video. Stay tuned for big things up and coming, guys. Thank you so much for your endless support what do they got to do they got to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit that subscribe button we'll see y'all in the next uploads tell me why do i still feel so alive